Welcome back. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin amending a bill that would put all nine Loudoun County School Board members on the ballot this November, one year earlier than expected. Now, this move needs approval from the legislature, but it comes as the board faces backlash over the handling of a high school sexual assault case that occurred in 2021. And this was the response of the parent of the student who was sexually assaulted at a school board meeting. Joining us now to discuss, Loudoun County parent and director of communications for the Herzog Foundation, Elizabeth Roberts. Also with us, Loudoun County parent, she Van Fleet. Uh, great to see you both ladies. Thanks so much for coming on today. Elizabeth, I'd like to start with you here again. We saw parents speak out at school board meetings, voicing frustration over a number of issues. Of course, that father specifically over the sexual assault case his daughter was involved in. Um, but other parents were frustrated with curriculum, mask mandates, the fact that it was virtual school. And now the governor would like to see these school board members really held accountable, and quite frankly, face an election. Would you support that plan? Yeah, I think it's great that Governor Yunkin has proposed this. I'm sure the school board members themselves aren't too happy about it, but you know, parents' voices deserve to be heard. Parents have opinions on these matters, and those opinions need to be heard, whether that's at the ballot box or whether it's at an event like the one that the Herzog Foundation is hosting tonight for parents in the Loudoun County community. Well, now I'm intrigued. Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> what do you expect to come from that event? Yeah, you know, clearly parents in the Loudoun County community are outraged right now, and rightfully so. When you listen to stories like she's, which I'm sure she'll share here momentarily in the experience that her children have had in Loudoun County public schools, you know, how could you not be outraged? But we need to turn this anger into change. It's time to take action. And that's why the Herzog Foundation is hosting a rally tonight for parents and Christian school leaders. You know, parents don't have to keep their kids in government-controlled schools. Uh, they do have options, and there are a number of amazing Christian schools already established in Leesburg and at the Herzog Foundation we want to assist those schools make sure they're set up for success but also show parents in Loudoun County that these schools exist. Yeah there are a lot of parents who are either looking uh, for some school board changes or even looking for possibly different schools. She um, I know you have an interesting connection to all of this and of course experiencing your own frustration with how some of these schools have been run. Tell me about that. Yes, I think the reason I'm in this fight is because this is something that I experienced in China. When all schools are government schools, when the government controls everything, what and how uh, to teach uh, the kids, to, uh, parents have no say whatsoever. And what the government does is indoctrination. From very young, when I was in school doing Mouse China, we were taught to love the party over our parents and to loyal to the party to Mao is uh, the most important thing to teach. And they set uh, people against each other by dividing them into black class, which are the uh, are children of uh, property owning class. And the red class are those who are the uh, friends of the revolution. And all this is playing out in this country. And what they're trying to do is separate parents from the uh, children because parents not only love their children, they also are the natural transmitter of uh, values and a tradition. They don't want that. They want to have ownership of our children so they can indoctrinate them with race Marxism and identity Marxism. Well, some of what was being taught in the classroom was exposed during COVID because it was virtual. So parents who might have been hanging around their children during schoolwork time would have seen what was being taught. Um, I know the school board is taking issue with the governor's plan to put them up for election. Here's a statement they released. I'll read it to you. So we're, we're all on the same page here. Uh, they say, this is from the Loudoun County School Board. Governor Youngkin's proposed amendment seeks to undo a fair and free election in which members of the Loudoun County School Board were chosen by the people of Loudoun County to represent them on the school board for four years. And again, the governor would like to see this election take place before that four your time frame is up. Elizabeth, what would you like to tell those school board uh, members who take issue with the fact that the governor would like to see an election? 
I would tell the school board members that they work for the parents of Loudoun County and it's time for those parents' voices to be heard. Whether they like it or not, they must be held accountable and parents deserve to know uh, who is controlling the education of their children. And she, when it comes to possible people who might want to be interested in running for school board, what kind of candidates are you looking for that you would like to consider voting for, she? I would, of course, to see parents who take uh, who take this not just uh, protecting our children, but uh, also protecting the future of this country. So I would love to see parents who are not only courageous to protect our uh, their children, but also uh, the uh, the survival of this country. Mm. Um, Elizabeth. You know, I know you've got your organization tonight. I'm sure you expect a crowd to come out. What has the response been like? And, and who's really showing up to these events and letting their voices be heard? Yeah, the response to our rally for parents in Loudoun County tonight has really been overwhelming. We're expecting hundreds of parents to attend, but also community leaders as well. Um, Fight for Schools and Army of Parents are just a couple of the local um, organizations that will be present, but we're also going to have heads of schools from um, local Christian schools to represent um, their schools and the amazing things that they're doing. So we're really excited to see all of the local parents and organizations tonight in Loudoun County. All right, well, we've got the information on the screen there, Elizabeth Roberts and Shiva and Fleet. Thank you both so much for coming on today. We appreciate the conversation. Thank you. Thank you for having me.